They really should have named it Heavy Metal Foes Magician. What's going on guys, it's Simo. So today I'm bringing to you a card discussion on Heavy Metal Foes Electrum. This is a brand new Link monster coming out in the Link Vrains pack, which for the OCG comes out at the end of November, which means hopefully here in the TCG we get it sometime between January and February if all goes as planned. Now, there's a lot of hype surrounding this card and for good reason. So we're gonna go into the effect and break down the effects and pretty much explain why this card is absolutely fucking amazing. So, Heavy Metal Foes Electrum is a Link 2 Fire Psychic Link Effect Monster with 1800 attack. It's Link Arrow's point bottom left and bottom right, very similarly to Mrs. Radiant, and we've established that that's kind of the best Link markers you could possibly have, and it only requires two Pendulum Monsters. Now, you can only use the third effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is Link Summoned, you can place one Pendulum Monster from your main deck face up into your extra deck. Once per turn, you can target one face-up card you control, accept this card, destroy that card, then add one face-up Pendulum Monster in your extra deck to your hand. And lastly, if a card in your pendulum zone leaves the field, draw one card. So that is three really insane effects. So we're gonna go ahead and break each of these down. So to start off, the first effect essentially just allows you to tutor for any pendulum monster in your deck. Now it doesn't immediately add it to your hand, it places it in the extra monster zone, but because as we know the way the pendulum mechanic works by being able to special summon the monsters from the extra monster zone, it's kind of like pseudo card advantage because you might be able to get it to your hand through the second effect of this card, or be able to pendulum summon it out through the pendulum summoning mechanic itself so it kind of gets it kind of tutors it out but also at the same time kind of doesn't if that makes sense but what's crazy about that is so for instance take a card like performer foul skull Corbat joker now i know that doesn't immediately synergize with metal foes necessarily but we're going to get to magicians a little bit later on so with the first effect of this card when this card is link summoned you can place joker face up in your extra deck then using the second effect of this card you can pop another card you control and then add the joker to your hand meaning if you haven't used your normal summon for the turn you just got joker to your hand for free essentially and then you're able to normal summon it which as we all know joker is one of the strongest normal summons in any pendulum deck ever and that's a really really big deal because you can apply that logic to essentially any pendulum monster that you're trying to have access to but you also don't need to add it to your hand if it's better off in the extra monster zone you're going to pendulum summon anyway you can just freely pendulum summon it out and then you can save that second effect maybe for let's say popping the monster that you put there let's say for instance like Guiding Ariadne. You can use the first effect of Electrum, put Guiding Ariadne in your extra deck, then set up your scales, Pendulum summon the Ariadne, then use the second effect of Electrum to pop the Ariadne, get the effect of Ariadne, and also add another Pendulum monster from your extra monster zone to your hand. And then you trigger the Ariadne in addition to that, which is just absurd, but that just goes to show some of the potential that this card immediately has just off of its first effect. Could you imagine if a card like Magispector Unicorn Kirin was still legal and there was another way outside of like Bumbuku to tutor this card out either into your extra deck or to your hand? Like, thank fucking God that card is banned because Kirin would be just all the Pendulum player's wet dream if it was still legal in tandem with Electrum. Now, moving on to the second effect because the second effect is also very important as well. Now, this basically allows you to pop any card and then you get to add a card from your extra deck back to your hand. Now, that's kind of reminiscent for me personally of Zodiac Barrage because when people played Metal Foes Zodiac, they used Barrage in a very similar fashion. Now, obviously Zodiac Barrage is a lot more fucking broken, so you can't make a direct correlation, but you can kind of see where I'm going with this. And because there's so many pendulum monsters or monsters in general that you're going to want to pop to trigger their effects, like the aforementioned Guiding Ariadne, there's a lot of really cool 
synergies that you have available. Another interesting aspect of the second effect here is it's kind of reminiscent of Oath Dragon Magician for Pendulum Magician players. Now the reason I say that is is because it allows you to manipulate your scales that you currently have in your Pendulum Zone because let's say for instance you're playing Metal Foes and as we all know Metal Foes are notorious for popping their scales left and right and just adding cards you know basically off of the pop scale. So then they have a ton of cards in the extra deck but let's say for instance because the Metal Foes all have different levels maybe you want to make sure that you have a particular uh, Metal Foes monster in your hand so that it's not going to the extra deck or maybe you want to make sure just because of positioning on the board you want to have your extra your, uh, extra monster zone or excuse me your extra deck as well as your hand set up in a very specific way well the second effect of Electrum allows you to do that because you can pop one scale and add a different scale back to your hand and then you can place that scale even if it's the same type of scale but now you've modified the levels of the monsters that are readily available for you to pendulum summon and that actually makes a difference depending on the type of plays whether they're synchro or exceeds plays you're attempting to access now another cool thing is like I said it does enable cards like Ariadne and Double Iris Magician which we're going to get into a little bit later because when it comes to Pendulum Magicians this card it might as well just be Heavy Metal Foes Magician because it's just the benefits it adds to this deck are absurd. But before we get into that I want to talk about the third effect because the third effect is I don't know if it's the best effect but it pretty much might as well be because if any Pendulum card in the Pendulum Zone leaves the field you get to draw a card. First of all, that's a mandatory effect. So you have to draw if anything in your pendulum zone leaves the field, but Second off, it doesn't even say destroyed, it doesn't say sent to the extra deck, it just has to leave the field, meaning if it gets banished with something like Cosmic Cyclone, if it gets bounced back to the hand, if it gets shuffled back into the deck, this card doesn't give a fuck. You get to draw off of it, essentially meaning that your opponent has to minus in some way or another in order for them to remove the scales while Electrum is on the board, and that's crazy. Now granted, it is a once per turn effect, but it can be used during either player's turn because it's a trigger effect. So essentially any point when a pendulum card in the pendulum zone leaves the field, you get to draw. Doesn't matter when, doesn't matter whose turn, you get to draw that card. And there's so much value you can get off of that that it synergizes incredibly well with the second effect. If you just think of the most basic example, you could have Heavy Metal Foes Electrum in your extra monster zone, and you could have any pendulum card in your pendulum scale. And let's say for hypothetical, you also have one in your extra monster, or excuse me, in your extra deck that's already face up. You can use Electrum to pop the card that's in your pendulum zone. You get to add anything that's in your extra monster zone, or excuse me, your extra deck back to your hand. Not only do you get to draw a card, but then most likely you're going to be popping something that has an effect that's going to net you some sort of advantage. Again, going back to stuff like Guiding Ariadne or Double Iris Magician. So you're going to get that trigger as well, meaning with only two cards, you just went plus three in terms of card advantage because you get to add the card back from your extra uh, your extra deck back to your hand, you get to draw a card, and you also get to add from whatever you destroyed. So that's a potential plus three, at a very minimum plus two if you didn't destroy something that doesn't have a trigger when it's destroyed by this effect. And the fact that you take all of this into the fact that this is a generic Pendulum support link monster. It doesn't say two metal foes monsters. None of the effects are metal foes specific. This means you can run this in metal foes, but you can also run in decks like Cleefort, which again gives you more access to cards like Scout and Monolith. You can also, and this is the big one, Pendulum Magicians. Pendulum Magicians, this is their wet dream of a card because this allows you to facilitate double iris on turn one so incredibly easy now that if this card came out today, it would just blow people's minds and Pendulum Magician would just immediately just be over the top in terms of where it would be at a competitive level. The fact that you can easily trigger that double iris means you have time pendulum graph basically always online and it's just 
just, it does so much for the archetype in general that it's just absolutely absurd. I think one other aspect that a lot of people are overlooking is the fact that the link arrows themselves open up two extra monster zones, meaning if you're able to summon Electrum before you utilize your Pendulum Summon, you can actually create even larger boards than you would normally be able to because usually you're restricted by only being able to summon one monster to the extra monster zone when you Pendulum Summon, but being able to have Electrum open up two extra zones mean you can sometimes summon like four or five monsters because you're able to summon two from the extra deck instead of one. And that makes a really big deal, especially when you have cards like Harmonizing Magician as well. That means you can summon stuff like Double Omega in addition to Time Star Magician still to protect all of your cards. Like, the, the possibilities here are fucking insane. And I just can't believe that there's like no downside to this card whatsoever. The Link Vrains pack is really going to change up the game and Heavy Metal Foes Electrum is a key indicator of that. But guys, those are just my thoughts. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about Heavy Metal Foes Electrum. I'd really love to hear your thoughts. This card, in my opinion, is absolutely fucking insane, and any Pendulum player is going to love having this in their extra deck. So guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to like the video as always. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! content. And if you really found this video informative, consider backing me on Patreon. Because just by pledging only $1 a month, you're investing in my ability to continue bringing you amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! content. So thanks so much again, and we'll see you next time. One, two, three.